All right, guys, this is Cam, the Oregon Knife Guy. And today, I have to show you some amazing stuff that I just ended up with. So, I'm going to start with a Santa Fe Stoneworks knife that my wife got for me on Saturday. So this is a model that we had not seen before. I have several of their lockbacks, but none in this style with the modern hardware. So it's raindrop Damascus frame or covers with the abalone inlay. And then look at that. It is a raindrop Damascus with a VG10 core and it is gorgeous and then look at that spine so we saw this and my wife had to have it so she bought it for me and she already had a plan for father's day which is a month away but she likes to do it at the same time as mother's day So there's one, which is an amazing gift. One that you wouldn't think she'd be able to top. And then today, she bought me this. So I have a friend in the community that lives down here on the Oregon coast um, named Billy. And he has a bunch of Chris Reeve knives. And when he heard that my wife was looking for one to get for me for Father's Day, he said, hey, I have a, I have one that I'm not using. And it is in the configuration I was looking for. So this is a pre-owned, but you'll see here in a second, pre-owned but not used. So it came with all the stuff. It's the Plain Jane 31, double thumb studs, um, it's an S45VN, it has that beautiful hollow grind, it is, and I have to say, I mean it's been a grail knife of mine, I've wanted this for years, it's just kind of been out of my reach, um, but he just happened to give us a smoking deal. About $100 off what they're going for now. So we had to pull the trigger on it. But if you haven't seen before, they come with this microfiber. They come with generally a lanyard tied, but he untied it. Um, they come with this card that has all your info. Got a registration card, sticker, a birth card. And there's this, all this wonderful info that I'm going to read anyway in a second. So it's the CPM S45VN, 60 to 62 Rockwell. It's a drop point, double lug, silver hardware. June 29th, 2022 was its birth date. So I have to say, I am stoked on this. I'm going to show you a few knives I have to compare that are close to the, I don't know, same tier value. I don't know. I've got my Slim Midi. That's what they look like together. And I think after that, the closest one as far as value goes is the Benchmade 2001. So I love it. I know she's not confused on Mother's Day. She's supposed to get gifts. Don't worry. She does have a stack of good stuff that she's going to love. She just couldn't pass this up at the time. Every time she was looking for one, and she's looked for one, you know, last Christmas, my last birthday, 
last year on Father's Day. Whenever she wanted one, they weren't available. And so when it came available, she jumped on it. Happy Father's Day early. So that'll go right in my pocket. All right. So I have a few other things. Um, things that I got that I found. Um, so this first one I've got off of the All About Pocket Knives website and it is a Boker Barlow. Spear point, freaking great action. Both blades, no wobble. This had some errors in its sharpening when I got it. It had like a dip in the blade right here. You can see how the bevel's just a hair different. I didn't want to take off too much steel fixing it. I just sharpened it till the rest matched. But, so this is a great knife. I needed one of these in my collection. Um, Boker is an amazing company. They do great work. This is an older model. It's a great knife. And when I got home today, in the mail, there was this. And I found this on Etsy from a guy in Australia. And look at that bone. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. That is just beautiful bone. Let's... So this is definitely an old Remington. I haven't done any kind of cleanup on it or anything yet. It's got a just a tad bit of wobble that I might tighten out of it. And I think I'm probably going to clean it up and obviously sharpen that wow out of it. And then also oil it and clean it up. I'm hoping to get more snap out of it it doesn't have any broken springs or anything but it's definitely got gunked up in the main pivot and there's a bit of a gap right here i don't know if i'll be able to tighten that out without hurting it but and then this is i don't know what this secondary blood blade was but i'm sure it wasn't this swooped up thing you can tell they sharpened it or maybe had to re-tip it i don't know it sit rides kind of high with the tip exposed but Beautiful knife for my collection. I don't haven't dated it yet or anything. Just super excited to show it. Oh, there is that. So I'm gonna set these out one time. Look at that. All right, guys. I'm Cam, Oregon Knife Guy. I'm out. I hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day coming up. Make sure you take care of your wives and mothers. You guys have a great weekend.